Hi everybody, Lori Reynolds here with Zephyr and I wanted to show you how to teach jump through your arms. Now there are a couple of ways you can do it. One is to teach them to jump through a hoop and then put your arms closer and closer around the hoop until they're jumping through your arms through the hoop. Um, the other way is to start like I'm going to start here with your arm up on a wall and you're just going to encourage them to jump over your arm. Yes, good boy. I've got a pile of cookies back here that he desperately wants to get to. Ready? Yes, good boy. Good job. So after they're really comfortable jumping over your arm, oops, sorry. Go. Yes, good boy. Then you're going to put another arm up on top. Yes, good boy. You don't want to close that circle yet because a lot of dogs don't want to be in that enclosed of a space. Go. Nope, come here. But you can put your other arm up on top uh, where it's not making them feel enclosed and get them to jump through that way. And then, of course, the next step is to get both of your arms fairly closed. Yes, good boy. So that there's just a small space in between them. Yes, good job. What a good boy. The next step is to take away whatever your wall or your, no, you may not have those, whatever your wall or your table was that you were using. Go. Yes, good boy. So once you've taken that away and they've learned to target that space through your arms. Go. <laughs> that was lazy. Good boy. Um, then you can start moving. And the next step, of course, is to raise yourself up a little bit higher. Go! Go! Excellent! Good boy! All right. Come on. Separate. Go. go! And you can see I'm making it easier for him by really not giving him a choice on where he's going to go. I mean, he's being pretty lazy tonight. I think he's uh, had enough cookies for tonight that his stomach's full. Are you ready? Go! Good boy! Once you've got them consistently jumping through your arms while you're uh, on your knees on the ground, then I transition to something like a table. And so I can put them on a table and circle my arms and have them jump through. Go! Go! Excellent! Good boy! So it's a little bit easier for him to jump off of the table through my arms than it would be for him to jump up and through my arms. I'll try it again, babe. Good boy. Go. And you can tell there's one way he prefers over the other. I'll tell you why that is in just a second. Hop up. So if I'm here, he really doesn't want to go through. Go. As much as he does when I'm turned away, I'm putting way too much pressure on him when I'm turned into him. So when you teach this, good boy. Uh, teach it where you're turned away from your dog encouraging them to go so you can see here my back is kind of turned towards him i'm not putting a lot of pressure on him on the front so this way he doesn't feel like i'm hovering over and putting as much pressure on him go go yes good boy good job and of course from there you're going to transition to having him do it while he's on the ground come here Wait. Ready, go. Excellent. What a good boy. Good job. And then you can stand up taller and taller and make him jump higher and higher. Of course, not too high because this is only a little 20 pound dog. Ready? Oh, you want to go that way? Right. Ready? Go. Excellent. Good job. And that's all there is to the jumping three arms trick. If you've got questions, go ahead and put uh, them down in the Facebook group and I'll try to answer as best I can. Nice job, puppers.